Hello everyone, welcome to This Family Does Everything. My name is Alexandria and I am losing my voice, so I'm not going to talk very long. However, this is the police interrogation between Erica Patterson and Detective Goof. So let's sit back, watch and analyze, well, I guess listen and analyze the Daryl Brooks trial. How long have you guys known each other? 16 years. 16 years? Okay. Yeah. And that relationship started down in Georgia? No, or that house, I was born, well, in California, but I met him in Nevada. I moved to Georgia in 2017. Okay. And I moved him out there to Georgia with me in um, April of to this year, April. Okay. And then I came out here with him. I never went back. When you say it came out here, meaning like Milwaukee area? Milwaukee area. Okay. Yes. And then in Milwaukee, you, that's when you had that good job and then the yes. fight happened. And this just happened in Milwaukee, yes. And you're out here to stay, try to stay safe. Yes. Okay. I don't. I want to go back to Georgia, but I don't have. What am I supposed to do? Like I can't. I have no income. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. So yesterday, what happened? What? How did you guys become in contact with each other? Because like, he's out here trying to visit his son or whatever, and he already is in this Waukesha area. He called from a private number. I was with my friend Corey, and then he told me, "I see you. I see you." I'm like, "How do you see me?" All because I don't have a car. I have my license, but. All we do, I'll be with her trying to babysit her all damn day. So walking up and down the street with her friends and everything home. Did Corey see him today? Huh? Did Corey see him today? No. Okay. No. Did Corey, or did, did, uh, do you call him Jay? His name is Jay. His name is Daryl, but I call him Jay because that's why I, it's Daryl Brooks Jr. So I call him Jay. Okay. And did he? All, because I don't have a car. I have my license, but all we do, I'll be with her. I was born, well, in California, but I met him in Nevada. I moved to Georgia in 2017. Okay. And I moved him out there to Georgia with me in um, April of to this year, April. Okay. And then I came out here with him. I never went back. When you say it came out here, meaning like Milwaukee area? Milwaukee area. Okay. Yes. And then in Milwaukee, you, that's when you had that good job and then the yes. fight happened. And this just happened in Milwaukee, yes. And you're out here to stay, try to stay safe. Yes. Okay. I don't. I want to go back to Georgia, but I don't have. What am I supposed to do? Like I can't. I have no income. Yeah. Well, makes sense. So yesterday, what happened? What? How did you guys become in contact with each other? Because like, he's out here trying to visit his son or whatever, and he already is in this Waukesha area. He called from a private number. I was with my friend Corey, and then he told me, "I see you. I see you." I'm like, "How do you see me?" All because I don't have a car. I have my license, but. All we do, I'll be with her trying to babysit her all damn day. So walking up and down the street with her friends and everything home. Did Corey see him today? Huh? Did Corey see him today? No. Okay. No. Did Corey, or did, did, uh, do you call him Jay? His name is Jay. Okay. Well, his name is Daryl, but I call him Jay because that's why I, it's Daryl Brooks Jr. So I call him Jay. Okay. And did he see his son yesterday or today? I don't know what he does. I just know he's out here. His son is baby mama Angel. I don't know if I say her real name, but they're out here. In Do you have any kids that stay with you here? No, I'm okay. by myself. You're here by yourself. I came here from the hospital because he ran my ass over with a car. And that's already been documented, right? Yeah. By the Milwaukee that's Police why Department? That's I came here. They brought me here. I thought it was a hospital. What car did he run you over with? In his mother's car. It was a red um, Ford. A red Ford Escape. Okay. Um, let's now, talk... He knows a lot of people out here. and he's, I, don't, I don't. I don't want to put my life in danger like I don't want like I know you guys document this but I don't want him knowing any of this because it's like he knows a lot of people in Milwaukee a lot of people okay and I'm not trying to get shot or anything else I don't know what the hell he's does he do. carry weapons with him he does not but he has a lot of people I do okay and he threatened me plenty of times before yeah so he hit you yesterday in your face mm -hmm. with his fist with his hand his with hand. His... Mm -hmm. so why don't you explain you guys He's calling you from unknown numbers. How did you guys end up get like in he the same? He saw us. He saw us. Where, where? Do you remember where that was? I don't know this area. It was down there. It was by like a big church thingy. I don't know. It's down whatever street this is. All the way down the street. Okay. Kind of by the lake. So that happened, and then I kept answering the private calls. I did. Okay. You know, and then he said, "I see you." Whatever. Okay. So then I finally, when he said, "I see you," I met up with him. I did. Okay. And. And I'm not judging you. Ju no, I'm not, okay. I don't okay. want to. I don't know. But this is what happened. And it's like, 
I'm trying to stay here because it's the only person I know, but it's like I'm meeting up with you, and he, he's sitting here getting mad at me because I didn't bail him out. You tried to kill me. Why did I bail you out? Mm -hmm. I actually didn't even walk up to the damn car in the first place. Was he alone? Yes, he's by himself. He's always by himself. He sleeps in the car in okay. his mom's backyard. Okay. The cops had, when they first arrested him over this, they had came to him in his mom's backyard because he sleeps, the, the truck is in his back, mom's backyard. When you saw him yesterday, when you met up with him yesterday, mm -hmm. and he hit your face, mm -hmm. was there anybody else that saw that happen to you? Just, okay. And you were by, kind of by the river, but kind by a church? So not, I'm yeah, assuming it's St. Before that. St. Joe's Church is a really big church right down the street here. I'm not sure the name's not Peace okay. County, so. There's some other apartment buildings right there? Kind of, yeah. Okay. I, I'm just making an I assumption that might be the right. I know, I'm sorry, though. I can't, like, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just... Did he hit you just one time, two times? Once. With which hand? His right hand. Did it cause you pain? Well, your eyes are pretty I'm not scared of him. I just don't want it. No, it didn't hurt, but it was just like a slap. It wasn't a punch. It was a slap like this, but he's strong. He's yeah. the same size as me, but he's stronger than me. Okay. Like, I'm not scared of him, but it's like I am because you ran me over in a car in broad daylight. Mm -hmm. At a gas station, the cops already have a video of it. Today, nothing was physical. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Would you mind if I take photos of your eye and your overall person, just to, to, to document your injury to your left eye? Mm -hmm. Would that be okay? Mm -hmm. And then my other question is, um, did you ever go to the hospital for that no. injury? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think my doctor was with my leg, and then I have a dislocated finger he did to me on my birthday. Well, you guys can clearly see he's dislocated. They told me to do a follow-up appointment, but I haven't uh, called them yet, but you see. It, oh, yeah. So this that was happened last on my birthday. This happened October 7th. My birthday is October 7th, so this happened like the day after that. So on October 8th, maybe? Yeah. Where did that happen? At a hotel. Because, like, like I said, we were sleeping in the back of in his, his car, well, his mom's car, in his, his mom's backyard because he's not supposed to be there because he shot at his nephew last year. So he has an open case. They Has he always been this violent it. towards you yeah. and other people? Yeah, because, yeah, he's been this violent towards me since I was younger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this child in, in common that you guys have lives in Georgia, if I'm understanding. She's in Georgia now, yeah, because I left to come out here for two weeks, and she was supposed to come with us, but she didn't want to come. Okay. And she you, was going to, but then this, that day she said, no, I don't want to come. And what what's her first name? Arsinoe. A-R-S-I-N-O-E. Okay. You call her Ari, yes. Ari. She's with one of my cousins right now. Is that the only child you guys have in common? <laughs> we just have one together. I have four dollars, but I have one with him. That's one with it. him. That's it. Okay. Um, and then he has one out here. Okay. Let's take a break. I'm going to take uh, a couple of photos of you. Does your eye hurt now? Now that everything's kind of... I mean, I'm sure adrenaline at the time, and maybe it's, you didn't... It doesn't it's, hurt. No, it doesn't hurt. But... Really? Okay. All right. It just looks like it. Might. I know, it looks fun, but... It yeah, doesn't. okay. You don't, like, when you touch it, you don't feel like it's bruised or anything like that? Because it's, it like, red. It hurts just right here okay. a little bit. Okay, Because I know sometimes when the thing, when things are happening, adrenaline's going, and... The main thing turns is this. Like, it, this is Did not you have surgery on that? No, I didn't have surgery. It's broken. I have the paperwork. It's fractured right here and right here. Mm -hmm. Um, But it's been two weeks. I mean, I think it's healing, but... Uh -huh. I got my paperwork. So. Are you okay to stand? Yeah, I Okay. Yeah, Let's just you stand right here, I think. Maybe that would be best. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to grab some, an overall picture of you. That's fine. I got a dirty phone, of course. I'm sorry. I don't want everybody mad at me. I'm sorry. Don't no, you're not. No, no nobody no, mad at you. I'm sorry. No one's mad at you. They want to bring this drama here. It's not, it's not drama. He just... you put your mask down? I didn't know she wasn't from here. Mm -hmm. And can you turn your head all the way to the side? Can you turn your head all the way to the other side? Okay, and just look at, look at me one more time. You can have a seat. Can you guys not tell him, please? Tell you guys, he tell him that we talk to you? He knows a lot of people in the talk to you. I can't. I'm sorry. Well, I just... let's talk about what happened today. So you guys, so is it the same kind of... Who's, was there anybody with you today? Well, I was with them earlier, and then she left. She, had her, she was talking to her voice, whatever. whatever we that. said, we're going to call, we're going to call. So I'm, I'm just imagining you had a couple friends with that were standing by you. Yeah, but they she saw. left earlier, and then he had called. And then that's when I was at the park, the whatever, farmer's park, whatever that, that lake thing. Frame. Frame. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's all right. 
I was there, and then um, he had popped up there. I had seen his car parked over there. Okay. And then my dumbass walked up to the car, and he was yelling at me, then, get in the car, get in the car. Did you get in the car? Yeah, I did. Okay. What and happened then? Arguing. Same, about the same. Just arguing. We, yeah, he didn't hit me today, but we were arguing. Okay. I'm just like, I'm trying to make him see, like, look what you're doing to me. I'm out here by myself. I don't have family out here. I don't have anybody out here. Did you notice if he was like... Different. It sounds like he's kind of an angry guy. So take this. He's an angry you, What you mean, or I guess don't look into what I'm trying to say. Did he was he more angry today, or less angry, or the same? He's the same every time. Or he's something different. The whole time I know him, he's been the same every time. Okay. Um, it doesn't change with him. Do you know if he was doing any kind of drugs or alcohol? Any or? Drugs. I know he doesn't smoke weed. That's the only thing I know. Yeah. Okay. And what? Talk me through the fight, the verbal altercation you had today. How did it how did it start and then what was said and then when how I did... walked apart, we just argued. I walked out and I came back here. That's it. That's all I was. How did how did the argument end? Me leaving, getting out of the car, so I'm not trying to get ran over again. I don't know what he's capable of. He's telling me like he knows all these people that will like if he threatens me, he knows too many people. Did he, he threaten will... you today? He didn't threaten me, but he made if you want this to end, I'll make it end. Something like that. That To me, that's a threat. I don't know what that means. I don't either. But that's what I'm trying to say. I don't know. Okay. And I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have came out here for this BS. This is too much for me. And what did you do after you left him? What? I walked back here. Okay. Um, have you heard from him since then? No. I'm not. Is that, a, is that common or do you normally hear from him like... No. Throughout the day and night. He's not going to call. I don't think he's going to call. He's probably scared that he's going to go back to jail. He knows that we still have an open case. He knows he got bailed out. He knows that when <laughs> December comes, you're going to go to jail anyways. They're trying to give you all these years. You already had an open case. You jumped bail on some more stuff. You already have an open case. Is he pretty light-skinned? Yeah. Okay. Does he have dreads? Yeah. Okay. Can you describe today what he was wearing? A white hoodie. I don't remember the pants, but a white hoodie. Okay. Um, any, anything else that stuck out to you, like what he was wearing? I know you said you don't remember the pants, so does he always wear the same pants or does he always he wear the same had, shoes? I don't know if he had the slides on, like uh, some blue slides. Blue slides? Like slide shoes. Mm -hmm, like flip flop or whatever. Like slides, yeah, yeah. white socks. I don't remember the, the pants might have been light blue. They might have been light blue, I think they were. Okay. Did yeah. he change clothes from yesterday to today? Or were they the same yesterday? They were saying yesterday he was sent in the freaking car. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did you notice if he had any what if he had an undershirt on? What color his undershirt was? I didn't see that. Okay. And what did, did he have any weapons on today? No. He never has weapons on him. I don't know if he does. I never seen him. Shit. So I don't know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut somebody out. I'm sorry. Does he have any? The how many phones does he have? If any. He has a red iPhone. Okay. Um, iPhone 11, I believe, and he has a, another phone that is an Android. It should have like a pinkish kind of background, uh, case his mother gave him. And which one does he primarily communicate with you on? The red iPhone. And is that, that's his phone, not the one that his mom gave to him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, his mom buys it. She pays his bill. Okay. So, it's... And did, um, and you know that he primarily communicates with you with that phone because <laughs> of... Why? Or how? Do that. Like, he has apps. He's a text now app on the other phone that he communicates me through. The pink one? Yeah. Okay. He hasn't done that. The text me now app. Yeah, the text now, whatever it's called. And you can yeah. change numbers. You can change numbers. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that is. Okay. Uh, do you know his passcode to his phone? I don't. I don't. Does he keep a password on his phone? Yeah. A fingerprint, I believe. Okay. Well, his, his iPhone, I know, is the face recognition. The um, Android, it's a passcode. I don't know a passcode. The swipey one or digital? No, it's a passcode. Like a passcode. numbers? Yeah, the numbers. I don't know. But you don't know what the numbers would no. be? He never gave it to me. He always took my phone. They still have my phone to his custody. Yeah. Okay. On Fond du Lac. So I had to buy a new phone because of him. Okay. Um, does he have any other electronics that he keeps? Not that I know of. I haven't seen him like, since the last two days. I haven't seen him like a month. I don't know. Does he have a wallet or any kind of like thing where he keeps his cards or money or anything like that? Blue one. 
The blue one? Mm hmm Okay. Does he normally keep that on his person or somewhere in the car? Usually on him. In a pocket? Okay. Does he have one of those, um, I forgot what they call them now because they've changed the names. In that red car, it should be a TV because he sleeps in his car. It should be a TV in the front. A TV in there? And an electric car. Oh, a uh, white one. Do you have a red car today? It was red, the same. For, red for escape. The same car, okay. It's not his name. He doesn't have a fucking license anymore. Do you know a license plate number? No. Okay. They should have that because the cops have a video when he hit me with this, so they should have that. I don't have all that. Was no there any damage to the car? No, there was not. But I know the cops, and we had witnesses and stuff. There's no damage, but they had the video. It was at a BP gas station in, um, on Appleton Road in Milwaukee when he hit me in daylight. Okay. And how did that, uh, you know, I don't want to bring up old stuff. You that, can bring it up. Okay. Um, I had got me a room because I was tired of sleeping in a car. I was tired of fighting him. I get off work. I would come there sleep in a damn car every freaking night and deal with you fighting me. So, I got me a room that night. And the next day for checkout, I had told him like a dumbass. I had told him, check out, he came there at 11 o'clock. Took my phone, followed me. I was going on the street trying to leave him. Then he ran me. I didn't know he was going to run me over, but I went to the gas station. He ran me over. They had witnessed in the video. That's how that How did that, did he hit you with the, like the driver's side of the passenger? I don't know. I just know he hit me. And I was on the ground. I had blood on my pink backpack. I had my shoe was across the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. And then I have people telling me, like, people are telling me he's the one that freaking ran through the freaking parade thing. I'm like, that wasn't him. I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm just confused. I don't want to be in trouble with you guys. I'm sorry. No, that you're not in trouble. That I'm, I don't want to get kicked out. I don't have nowhere else to go. I don't know what's going on. You're mm -hmm. still I just know he's abusive as fuck. As you guys can see this. Mm -hmm. But if I feel like I, he's going to be in jail, he's going to be in jail regardless when court day comes. But he's trying to take it to trial. <laughs> Let me ask you this. When you guys were talking, you were about to leave. Yeah. <clears throat> Did he say anything? What were his like, last words to you before you left? Remember? He just kept saying, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Erase my number. That's all I kept saying. Did he make any threats to you or to anybody else? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, do you know what your last words were to him? I kept saying, why are you doing this to me when I left my kids in Georgia to come out here with you and you wouldn't let me come back? That's all I kept saying to him. I said, why don't you love me? What did I do to you? What am I doing to you? And he hates me because I didn't bail him out. He, he left me in jail. He's blaming me for why he ran me over. How's that? He's just saying it's my fault. It's, you you should have controlled your anger. Why you had to run me over? Okay. And my cousin's in Nevada. I don't have a number by heart, but like she's just like, dude, he's always been like this with you. Why are you still? I'm a, I, like, he's always been Jay. If you guys pull his background up. The lady, another lady at night had pulled it up. He went to jail, like me and him just started talking again. He went to jail before for strangulation, battery, and some more stuff. When I wasn't even talking to him, he has a history of anger. Yeah. And it's not me. Like, you already were doing this to other women, not me. Right. That's very common. Which I'm sure these ladies have been yeah, trying but to help he's you already, out with yeah, understanding. Like I'm sitting here like, okay. okay. But I'm not, I'm your baby mother. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I always say sorry. I'm sorry. You don't have to. <laughs> I always say sorry. For <laughs> Remember what time that was that you met with him today at the frame or frame park or the park that you were we at? Left, me and Corey left here. Or do you have your? Did you have text messages with them? To know yeah, what time you met no, with them? No, I don't. Cause he called from private number. But it was around. We left here around. I did my dishes. Did my chores. I don't remember. I could say it's three or four. -ish. I don't know. It was like three or four because I left here around two. I did my dishes and stuff. I didn't get up till twelve. I was in it knocked out until she came there with me up. Did you call a friend right after you got out of the car and made sure you weren't going to get hit by him? Like after you left, did you contact anybody or did you just come straight back? Here? I came here. Straight back here. Yeah. Did you make any stops? No. So I is there a record of once you would come in here? To roll the cameras back. Okay. Yeah, That's fine. Out. I came here. That's fine. That's fine. I believe you. I believe you. I'm just trying to narrow down a time, like, because sometimes time can be weird, right? Yeah, but, and she... Uh, you know if it was dark yet, or was there still a little light outside? It was dark. It was dark. 
Okay. Because what's her name was outside by Dollar General with her friend Kyle. And I seen her and she walked up here with me. So yes, it, it was around probably like two hours ago. Well, not two hours. I'll say three hours. Oh no, three hours. Well, it's, old, it's already 10 o'clock now. Okay, so I didn't know that. So, yeah. <laughs> it was About night. It was dark when it happened. It was after 30. all the shootings happened. So did you hear the sirens outside? Yes. Okay, where were you when you heard all the sirens? When I was walking back here, I heard them all down there. When I was over here, I heard them all down here. So they're everywhere. So were they still going when you got here? Were the sirens still? Yeah, okay. they were. Okay. I would say 4.30 probably. It was dark though. Yeah, so four, it would have been it's, it would have been dark at 4.30 already. It's dark. <laughs> I, think it was, like I think it was later than that though. I think it was like 5 maybe. Check 5. I don't think it was 4.30. And so the, I assume, again, I, I make assumptions, right? But you know, I don't know until, unless you tell me I'm wrong. Did you walk in that the roads back to here? I know you have to back right back, here. Back or did you walk... Like the in the park, there's like a trail. A trail, I believe. It was a trail. It wasn't like the main street of obviously the was part. And then when you got to where you know you need to come to here, then you walked the street. Then I imagine. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that all day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you have a coat on? Yes, I had a, a gray one and a blue one on. Okay. Well, blue one over the gray one. Watch the film. Okay. I don't know what time it was. I walked in with her. Who'd you walk in with? With Corey. I told you she was outside with her. Okay. I walked in with her. Did you tell her what happened? That you had an argument with yeah. Jay? Yeah. But she, like I said, I'm trying to be Dr. Phil to her and her. She's got her own thing. Relationships. <laughs> there, she has like seven dudes trying to be in love with her. <laughs> They all call my popular lady. Sounds like a lot of work. It's yeah. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody that can't even handle one guy. I don't know. <laughs> right. Like I'm trying. I'm trying to see him. Where Where was Corey when you were in the car with him? Huh? Where was Corey when she you? She was with her friend Nick. And where were they? I don't know. They were they watching from like a distance? No, they were gone. I don't even know where the hell they were. When did you meet up with them? Just outside the building or somewhere else? I met them in the morning and I left them and they went somewhere else. I don't know where they went. When you saw her tonight, before you walked in this building, where's the first time you saw her before you walked in here? Over here by the, the, the Dollar General. By the, by the Dollar General? Yeah. General? Okay. She was dropped because she knows she has three violations. She's going to be back. She has to be back at a certain time. And and so she wasn't with you at the park? No. And she didn't see you get in and out of the no. car? And is the guy that she's with, does Corey, is that is he white or is he black? Or? He's white. Okay. And do they know him or have his phone number? No. I don't know. Do we have, Cor what's Corey's last name? Gray. Gray? Like yeah. the color? Yeah. G-R-A-Y? Yeah. And is it her first name Coraline or it's is it Corey. just Corey? Mm -hmm. So is it later than that? Uh, you said three or four, I'm almost thinking. No, I said it was late at night. I couldn't mean three or four because it was dark. I said it was dark. So what time? There, there right there. Right there it was like five. Like I said, five. <laughs> That's exactly that's what I said. Five on nine. Is that the, about the time we're supposed to be back then? Or, no, we're going to be back at 8.30. Oh, 8 30. Okay. so that's, okay. But it's still the time, which was, you know, I came back at least. Okay. Is something bad happened? I feel like, I don't know. Do any questions? Well, I was all just telling. So he, he's in custody, I can tell you that. He's going to kill me. He's going to have people he's kill me. He's, he's, he's not in custody for what he did to you. Hey, what okay. did he do? Was that him that drove? Yeah. That at least we think it is. Um, I'm gonna but die. I don't does know. Does he know anybody over off of? I know you don't know geography very well, but does he know anybody else in Waukesha? No, but his mom lives on um um four zero one four North Nineteenth Street in Milwaukee. Don't I know? I don't know who's big mama lives out here. 
But do you know if he knows anybody that that lives close to downtown Waukesha here? I don't know. His baby mama lives out here. His son is 18. He needs a whole big mother. I don't know. I don't know her. I never met What's her in my life. What do you mean by big mama? What, is, what well, does that mean? Well, sorry. His other child's mother. Okay. I never met her in my life. I never met his son. But do you I know, know her name? Waukesha. He says her name is Angel. I don't know if that's her real name. What's his son's name? Xavier Brooks. Xavier Brooks? Mm-hmm. With an X. Xavier Brooks, yes. And does he have any other kids that live out in Waukesha? No, he only has two kids. By How old is Xavier? 18. 18. Yes. He actually has a child support case out here in Waukesha County for Xavier. Okay. So, I still don't know why they released him, but that, he does have a, a case, so you guys can find out information through that, I guess. Okay. And do you know where they live? I don't. I don't know. I don't know okay. her. That's fine. That's fine. Um, yeah, I mean, we right now we're, this is a, Big investigation, right? There's a lot going on. I don't know if you saw any of them. I don't want him to tell news. me, like, call anybody and threaten me. I like, I don't even want to walk to the store no more now. What am I supposed to do? Is he the only one that's been this mean to you? Yes. Okay. Well, he's gonna be in custody. Okay. While we investigate this, and um, you know, this is not something that's a secret. I mean, it's a big news story. I'm sorry, I brought this here. You don't guys. Don't apologize. Sorry, you guys. It's not your fault. Yeah. No. Don't apologize. It's not he's your fault. He's looking okay? crazy, man. Well, he's so, in custody now. He's in custody, and, you know, there's a lot that we have to do to try to, you know, we may, this may not be our last conversation together. I've seen this video, together. and, like, of course, his little friend, he sent me the video early, and he was like, was that him? I was like, I don't know if that was him. It's the car is, a, like I said, it's a, Ford, a red Ford Escape. I don't know the license plates. I don't mean. know. He had a white hoodie on. Okay. He has dreads, light skin. I don't know if that was him. Okay. Well, <clears throat> um, like I said, he's with us um, so that we can investigate this further. And so your safety is not, you know, in any jeopardy from him. I don't stuff with all this drama. I came here to be safe. Mm -hmm. You're, You're still safe. safe. He's in custody. Mm -hmm. I'm meeting with Kathy at 10 in the morning, you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. If he tries calling you from jail, don't answer. Maybe get your phone number changed. We can give you a track phone if need be, so you can give out a new number to people you need to bring your case. Um, you know, Sorry. there's there's a lot more that we have to, to investigate. By no means are we saying, you know, you asked me what my my opinion. I just know that he's in custody because of connection with everything. Did he mm -hmm. do it? We have to, we, there's a lot of work that we have to do, okay? Um, but he's going to be in custody while we do that work. Okay. This might not be our last we conversation court, we that we have today. We have court December 20th, like I said, so I know. You have court with him December 20th? Yeah, but the last court, I didn't go to it because he has his freaking cousins and family calling me and telling me to blame it on me and say it's not me. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go to this last court. I didn't say anything. I just didn't go. Okay. Because he knows a lot of people in Milwaukee. This boy is trying to kill me. He will kill me. He ran me over with a car. Yeah. He's dangerous. So, you know, I can't make promises to you, but I don't think he's going to be getting out of jail anytime soon. He's going to be 40 and 50. He's probably never going to get out. All the time, they're trying to give him over this. And so, your court oh, case yeah. is one thing, okay? But then he's going to have other stuff out here in Waukesha County. And he also has the other stuff from shooting his nephew last year. Right. And you just you already reported another domestic incident that happened yesterday on the 19th. Yeah. And so, we're going to document that, too. Um, I don't have the paperwork with me, yeah. but there's paperwork I'm supposed to read to you regarding I know. I know they'll make sure whether or not you want to have contact or not have contact unless you have that. Like, I'm in a real serious domestic relationship. Like, I know a lot of people here are, but I'm in a real serious Probably touch. You have one? I'm not used to this. I just want to go back to Georgia. Like, I just want to leave. I'm dealing with poor and hard stuff. I tried to tell them, like, I'm... I know they told me just to, like, they told me. Yeah, I know. I'm just, it's a lot with that, too. I just want to verify your information that I have. I have Erica, E R I K A, middle is A, last name Patterson. Yes, ma'am. Uh, date of birth 10 7 of 90. Yes, ma'am. Okay. My phone number is 229 405 4363. Is that the one that you might have changed? No, that's my number that I've had since I left Georgia. That I've kept my number. If okay. we needed it, 
I will take better because I'm gonna get yelled at for my photos. <laughs> like someone might want to take better photos of your injury. That's fine. Do we contact you on this 405 number? Yeah. That's the best number to get a hold of you. Yes, on? of course. Okay. Yes. And oh. I was scared to even shut them with my eye. I tried to walk in, cover it up and stuff. Like I be trying to hide it. And shit, I don't. I don't like telling people my problems, but I'm like right now it's just. He's really crazy. He's a, he's a file of history since forever that like he's dangerous. But his family's trying to be mad at me. Like, I'm a problem. He was already doing this to women before me. How many kisses do you have? Just the two. Just his son out here and then the, the 14 year old with me. Okay, Ari. But yeah. And Ari's being well taken care of with your family down in Georgia? Yeah. I, to, I need to go out there. I have a CPS case with like my. They're all, my kids are all split up. There are different families' houses, and okay. I need to go back out there. That's why I need to go. My CPS worker's trying to help me, but she said she's trying to get me in a shelter out there with my kids. She tried to do that, but they said I cannot. She had me fill out the intake form, but they denied me because I'm not in Georgia. I gotta be a resident of Georgia, and I'm, I'm out here. Okay. I don't know what else to do. I have to get back to Georgia. So. Figuring that out. Oh. I'm sorry. I keep saying sorry. It's just a lot of drama. Do you have any questions for us? Mm -hmm. What questions do you have? I don't have any questions. But now that I know he's in custody, I'm kind of glad about that. Well, that's why I figured I'd probably tell you that. So you Thank you. I, I mean, I'm glad. But then I'm scared because I know he knows all the people in this whole fucking state. He always tells me, this is my city. This is my state. This is this. And he will really, like, have somebody do something to me. He really will. Does anybody know you're staying here? No, they don't know. I didn't get nobody the address for here. I won't do that because this is my only safe place. Mm -hmm. But I know he knows people. Probably his big mom out here. You know, out here, out there. Where else am I going to hide? He already threatened me, told me if I get on the Greyhound bus, the plane, like you can't go nowhere, you can't hide. Where I was gonna find you already told me this. Okay. What well, am I supposed to do? I mean I can't guarantee, but he's probably gonna be a little preoccupied for a while. With everything that's going on. Like I said, I can't guarantee I don't know exact I don't know him. But um, yeah, the situation. With this I just he with knows this a lot incident, of people and that's just my thing. I just want to leave from there. Let me ask you one other question. Did you see him drive off after you left him? Yeah. And which way? I seen him drive off. I'm going straight. Okay, so the park thing, I'm on this side of the park. The park right here with the lake, right here. He went straight. I thought I saw him make a left. That's why I thought I saw him. I don't know if that, there was two red cars. I don't know. But I thought I saw him make a left, but I don't know. How was his driving? Fast. Mm. Can you guys please not show me that I said all this stuff? I don't know. Well, you're, you're, and you're a witness of many today, okay, that we've, that we've talked to and are talking to. Um, you know him better than most well, yeah, of our, no, any I of us. I just, I don't, and I, so we're, you know, our, our goal today is to talk to you about why in the world, why this would all happen. I don't happen. want to be in jail, but I'm saying, like, I don't want him to know that I said it because I don't know what he'll send after me anywhere. Has he ever talked about his love or extreme hate for yeah, he the country him. or the world or no, you? No, all he say is that he hates me, he doesn't love me, I'm not his girlfriend. He don't care about his daughter. I asked him to be in his daughter's life. He said, no, I don't care. I don't deal with disrespectful ass kids. I said, well, you never raised her. Do you, you ever notice that he had, says anything derogatory towards maybe white people or no, any he, other race? He or? pretty much just hates me. Okay. It's just me. Because he went to prison over me when he was younger. Well, 16 years ago. Okay. It's just me. The hate. I don't know what his issue is, but he hates me. I mean, I know the issue, but even if you found my age, you still mess with me. You're messing with my friends after that, too. Mm -hmm. So, he hates me. There's someone with that form that's going to be coming here, okay. so we can fill that out with her. Right now? Uh, they're on their way, okay. so I don't know. Okay. I'll just come to Within a few time minutes. Like they okay. Yeah, they'll buzz us and then... Okay. 
just for my kind of information, is there something besides shelter or witness protection that information you guys could have? Well, her? let's take everything. I mean, right now, she's probably in one of the safest okay. spots there is. Right, she's with you guys. Overall, being down the road, yeah. um, let's just say there's a lot of resources that are being thrown at this today. Mm -hmm. Not just with our department, but the FBI is involved, and so there's a lot of other entities that are all, you know. I just told, I, told, I knew where y'all were going with this. Before I'm just, sorry, I didn't mean to bring that <laughs> shit. You, you didn't bring it. You didn't bring it. We gonna talk to you afterwards. We gonna have Jeff talk to you. There's a lot of there's a lot of processing for a lot of people in this community yeah. okay um and we're just at the beginning stages of, of that so um i just don't want to get killed i know people got hurt i don't want to kill you guys you're safe here i know and i don't answer calls that you don't know that they're coming from. i'm not i have it on my phone like, if i go to my settings it has a thing on um where i can't answer numbers i don't know or the blocks numbers either don't and and these do that, ladies will probably tell you they're, they're Definitely don't do that, especially now. Well, I know. Because there could be lots of different people trying yeah, to get in yeah, touch with you. Yeah. Media. I'm not. Yeah. Media. I mean, all sorts of scummy people that are just going to try to get information out of you. You're not going to give them anything. If you get those phone calls, don't answer them. I'm not saying anything. I just want to make sure that I'm safe and everybody else is safe. I just. I wouldn't talk. Um, to other people in the house about I'm like not, all the only people that know about this that to. are in this room yeah, okay not. and then whoever they need to contact to let them know so since she's not going to answer unknown numbers how will she know that you guys are calling my number will come up okay my number will come up I'm gonna well, give you remember, because on my phone, like I said, to where... ran out of business card, so you, you get a... You get a, <laughs> you get a very I'll save it. You're going to get, gonna get like, a very fancy business card. Oh, sure. I'm like, it will tell me, like, it will, like, block you guys. You can call either one of us, okay? Okay, thank you. I'll save it. You know, we've been giving away a lot of cards tonight, so... Thank you. And so I'm gonna, the first number I'm going to give you is my desk number. I'm also going to give you my cell phone, which I normally don't give out to people, but given the... Yeah, I, just, I want if you want to get in touch with me, I'm gonna give you every chance. <laughs> my, my cell number's on the back. My office number's on the back. And then that's justice.